amazing. Right. level up level up our strength um right oh shit keep going to them to warp we don't need to um so this is actually explored if we go back to the lift then we can go out of the castle morn go and explore that that horrible swamp which looked like a poison um looked like a poison swamp turtle friend the siege of castle morn a lone hero fights for his vengeance only to fall at the hand of lord godfrey <laughs> what was that whole area up there? Oh, is that where the Erd tree was? The minor Erd tree's up there. There's all this other fortress up there, look, that those towers and stuff. Uh, the jellies! Let's go see the jellies. What you got in there, boys? Slap me. <laughs> <laughs> Grave glove wart. Arteria leaf. Somber smithing stone level two. All right. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is um, soon we're going to upgrade our claymore a bit. I really like this claymore. It's always fun to have one and... You know, doing a cool sort of main melee warrior type thing. We've got to, we've got to go and upgrade it. I do like doing that. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's one of those weird skull things. Look, there's a pink flower there, and I want it. Here we go. Give me poison, baby.
<laughs> Golden rune level four. That'll be tasty. It'll be very tasty indeed. I am king of the rock. There's a giant crab. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. There we go. Give me your item thing crab eggs nice one crab eggs give me those crab eggs <laughs> delicious crab eggs fruit more of them I'll take it interesting so it's it's just a horrible little poison swamp but not anything too uh, what's the word like well it's, it's not too significant these blue flowers. Can Horsey get poisoned? Or is Horsey... Horsey's immune. Good dog. Good dog, Horsey. He's a good boy. Right, let's kill this bear. <laughs> He's just chillaxing. All right, do you have an item? Oh, no. Sorry, bear. Well, actually, no, the bear's the one that should be apologizing. Not me. Right, and now we come back up to, uh, to where we were before. Now, did I... Explore off to the left? I don't... Remember? I don't think I did. <laughs> There's not much to see though, it looks like. It's just kind of... Another way across. Okay. Maybe the other side of the wall, there's some extra things we can see. There's a nice little house up here. This is really cool. Feels like you're going up to like a witch's hut or something. Yellow Ember. What is Yellow Ember? Found in lands afflicted by frenzy. 
an ember taken from the eye socket of a corpse. A sign that the deceased suffered from the flame of frenzy. This grape has ripened and burst. Hmm. Oh god. They're like frenzied rats or something. Can't get in. No. On the roof. No. Okay. Wait, what's all the way down there? There's a flask bug, it looks like. Crazy how cool it looks. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, I thought maybe there'd be like a way as well onto the wall, but it doesn't look like it. Which is a shame. It is a shame. What a what a pity. Ah. <laughs> uh, interesting. Okay, so there's another bug down there. And there's bats hanging on the on the undersides of these gravestones, so I think we're gonna have to get it and run. Oh no, it's a lightning thing as well. Good lightning strike. Whoa, hello. Oh shit. That was close. <laughs> I think we got lucky. <laughs> wow. Fulgur Bloom. Oh, these are the ones you need for... Hmm, no. Wait. For the multiplayer? Is it Fulgur Bloom? Hi.
Let's get out of here. Lightning strike, right? Lightning strike. Let's skedaddle. Inventory. Lightning strike. Someone's lightning bolt that spreads from impact. One of the incantations of the capital's ancient dragon cult. Summons a bolt of lightning that scatters and spreads around the surrounding area. Ancestors of the modern dragons. The ancient dragons had scales of gravel stone and wielded lightning as their weapon. It is said that once they attacked Langdor, the royal capital. Well, we've been up there and we saw a giant dragon. A giant bloody thing. How do I get down? Oh, not like that. Holy shit. Hey. <laughs> um. Oh, it's this bridge. I know where this is. It's the rope bridge that we went over before. That's the rope bridge. Okay. Let's go back to Castle Morn Rampart. Um, we can see here if... Um, this is the place, or at least nearby, where Irina was? I, I can't remember where it was that we saw her. Um, also, my mic stand was doing its old thing. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back down this way. We'll go and see if she's around. Oh yeah, I remember this place. I remember this place. Was this her here? No! dead. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. I wonder if, like, I wonder if there's a way to keep her alive? Oh, it's such a shame. Damn. 
Well. Nasty. <laughs> doing horse parkour. Hmm. Where next? Honestly, I think I think we've explored like pretty well this this bottom area. Um, so yeah, we could go see what this is. Is that something on the top of the hill there? Go see what that is. Good Jesus, right. Well, worked out well. That worked out well. <laughs> Damn. This place is just beautiful. Beautiful. Hi, wolves. Okay. The wolves like grip on. They like hold on to you. I think that's a ghost over there. I think so.
The demi humans wax rough now their mother's been taken. Where are you, Lord Kenneth? The knight, bedeviled by blood. Lord Kenneth. Hmm. She's looking towards this place. Our Lord Kenneth. Um. Hmm. Where did that come from? Up on the top there, I see you. You've got golden eyes. I wonder what that means, their eyes. Ow, dude. I think this sort of like staggering them with enough attack power sort of thing that like was also in Dark Souls 3. I believe so. Huzzah! Oh lord, hello. No, you're here. Stabby, stabby. And again. Oh, is this a thing? Uh, uh, the golden seed, yes. We can get more flasks. Yay. Hey, Tilzy, how's it going? Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. Um, yeah, I think by the end of yesterday, it's, it's worked on me. So by the end of yesterday, I was quite tired, I think, and just kind of felt a bit like, ah, uh, overwhelmed. I wasn't sure. But playing it today, like, it's all settled in, you know? And I, I'm, I'm really liking it. Um, I kind of realize more now what it's about. Um, which is really cool. Have you... I can't remember if you said you were getting it or not. Blood Rose. I haven't seen Blood Rose before. Hello? Particularly beloved by those who serve the Lord of Blood, glory to his inevitable reign. Oh, if you were going to get this, I can't remember if you said you were planning on getting this or not. I was going to ask if you had the game.
Oh, that's so good that we found it. So next time we rest, we can actually level up our amount of flasks. Right, let's go into the castle. Oh, oh, right, okay. Yeah, fair enough, I... Understand. Hmm. Ooh, they've killed a beast or something. For hate height hived These are explosives. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. Yeah, this one this game's been like not too bad. So some of the bosses have felt like some of the moments and some of the bosses have felt really tough, but um, it's not, I wouldn't say it's as hard or brutal as like Sekiro. Because um, like Sekiro is, yeah, this this is, feels more forgiving than that, I guess. Um, it just feels like a really, really solid really well made open world game but not but not open world in the same way of like you know say horizon or something it's like still maintaining that same like sort of style of like story where it's just like you there is no real set like linear story that you should follow it's just kind of you discover stuff by exploring and, and that's how you build this whole world. It's it just works really well in this massive playground which is which is this world. You know, I guess that's what it feels like. We've got a new Ash of War, Bloody Slash. Bloody Slash. Yeah, it tells, it's it's really fun. It's grown on grown on me definitely. Or I've sunk into it, I guess. I needed like some good time on it anyway to get an idea of it. Yeah. Um so Ash of War Bloody Slash. It grants an armament the blood affinity and the following skill. Bloody slash. Blood oath skill granted by the Lord of Blood. From a low stance, coat the blade in your own blood to unleash a rending blood slash in a wide arc. I wonder if the Lord of Blood is Lord Kenneth. I wonder if it's Lord Kenneth. <clears throat> we heard so much about well we haven't but one person re referenced them <laughs> foot soldier gauntlets Looks like we should be able to get over there, doesn't it? Smithing stone. Can we get our horse? No. Shame. <laughs> okay. Damn it. If we could get a horsey, we'd be fine. There have been so many games that fall flat after all their hype has gone. You see the rubbish that you've actually ended up with. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I... I... Like, yesterday at the end of the day, I finished the game and I was a bit like, I'm not sure what I think, but I was kind of like, I was very tired yesterday, like I didn't sleep the night before very well, so, you know, 
I think that's part of it. But also, coming back to it, yeah, today, I'm just like, no, this is, this is for sure, this is really cool. And I would, I would play this, um, more times, but I'm interested to see how you'd get into, like, any sort of, um, speed runs or what the categories would become or whatever it's really interesting because it's done in a it's a different sort of style like mini bosses and stuff is like i don't know it's interesting what's up here oh it's a chest okay Dectus Medallion. And there's tons of stuff. It's just wild. It's a Dectus Medallion. Is it for my Dectum? Do I put it in my Dectum? <laughs> Join medallions to operate the Grand Lift of Dectus. Left half of a split medallion depicting the Erd Tree. Brandishing the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the Grand Lift of Dectus, connecting the Altus Plateau to Leonia. <laughs> oh, it's just so good. The right half is said to reside in Fort Faroth in the Dragon Barrow, far to the east. Fort Faroth in the Dragon Barrow, far to the east. I think the map goes to the edge of the screen. I think so. I don't know. But if you look here, there's a path that still goes that direction. I've, I, I'm not sure, but I feel like more will be revealed. Um, the style of the map as well, I love it. It's so nice. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Um, I'm a bit concerned that at some point we're going to see a live version of whatever this is. I don't know what it is quite. It doesn't look too good. Oh, we can go inside. Ow. Nomadic Warriors cookbook. Cool. Right. So, what does that help us do? Uh, it allows us to craft blood grease, drawstring blood grease, blood bone arrows, blood bone bolt. So a lot of blood stuff. Hmm. These have some sort of purpose. I'm almost sure of it. I've seen a few of them around, but I do not know what they could be. Not a clue. Okay, thank you for- hey. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was- there was an online comment someone put on- So you know you can leave, like, messages on the ground if you're on- if you're in online mode. Someone left one, and I can't remember what it said. It was something like butthole or something, I, I can't remember. Or like sit on it or... I, I can't remember. You only have like a few words that you can choose from, so it was creatively done. Um, but yeah, it was brilliant. It's a giant 
pleasurable thinking post. As far as I can tell on this, by the way, as well, like full damage, it seems to be that while on your horse, the horse can have full damage, right? But for you, you don't get full damage, at least until it's fatal. That's, that's the way I think it works, because I've not had any full damage at all that hasn't just straight down killed me. A really good beginner one to me is Dark Souls 1. Um, I think. Ah, oh, welcome, dear customer. Yes, right this way. Right this way. To be honest, this Tilsy as well. It feels weird. It feels like this has got enough space for you to roam and deal with like smaller or easier enemies. Um, the bosses so far have either rain have ranged from very difficult to like really quite simple. So it is pretty straightforward. Oh, it's such an interesting question. Dark Souls 3 is very punishing. I find Dark Souls 3 very hard. Um, it's a lot faster. Uh, Dark Souls 1 oh, is easier because... Okay. Hold on. Just stop talking. Yes, right this way. No, just... Right this way. I'll buy from you in a minute. I'm talking. Um, you own a couple, you think, but can't remember which... PC probably needs a bit of an upgrade before going for Elden Ring. Um, yeah, it's 12 gigabyte of RAM, eh? It's quite, quite hefty. Um, yeah, I don't know. Bloodborne, but that's exclusive to PlayStation. You could probably emulate it, though, to be fair. PlayStation 3 emulators. They do exist, right? Um, oh, is it PS4? Shit, was Bloodborne only on? I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think Dark Souls, the original one, is easiest because the ability for you to get super overpowered is easier in... Um, Dark Souls 1, I think. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> I'm caught in a stare. Hello. How are you? Oh, welcome. Welcome. Dear customer. Yes, right this way. Right this way. I want to clip this, actually. I want to clip this sound effect. I think for a... Uh, might be cool for an alert. Um uh, la 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 uh, uh, uh. There's no audio settings? Where's the audio settings? Here. Oh shit, I've done the wrong one. Right this way. Right this way. Let's have Welcome, a talk. Valued customer. Come, 
trade in our wandering emporium. Please, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please. I'll buy something, don't worry. Um... Damn, you have bad internet, Simon. I'm sorry, dude. Is it okay? It's just a bit screwy right now. Huh? Um, you have Dark Souls Prepare to Die edition. Yeah, Prepare to Die. Uh, there were some changes, I think. Was it? I. You know what? I actually don't know. I can't remember. I only have the uh, remastered. But you know what, it's actually, you can't get it anymore unless you buy it second hand, so, um, it's a good one to have, Tills. I think a lot of, a lot of people in that community wish they had prepared to die. Ah, hello. How nice of you to stop by again. Please, buy something, won't you? Festering Bloody Finger attempts invasion of other players' world. You've got cookbooks. Loads of cookbooks. Lump of flesh. Uh, you've got an, a little hand axe. A blue gold kite shield. Uh... The design represents the Erd tree foreground against a blue sky. Huh. St. Trina's arrow. Priests of St. Trina use these arrows to spread their teachings. The sweet oblivion of sleep can become quite the habit. Let's have fun. Um, I will buy something. I need to... I need to use some of these... Need to pop some souls. Last played in 2014. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think like, a few people have the game. A good amount of people have it, but it's not for sale anymore. You can't get it. Not since Remastered came out. Um, I think there's a couple of, like, bug fix things that you can get on, like, Nexus mods, which help like certain graphical things for example which the remaster like fixed um but yeah yeah i think it's probably the easiest in terms of like enemy fights and, and all sorts of stuff although i've not played the original demon souls so that might be even better but yeah Right, I bought some stuff off you. Now, cookbook. We got the this, the this, the beast lure pot. All right. Then we got uh, we've already had that one. It was this exalted flesh. A record of crafting techniques left by an armorer who served the great general Radan. Exalted flesh. So look, what can we craft? Exalted flesh. We can do it. Yeah, we need... Rower fruit, which we've got shit tons of. This is the one that temporarily boosts physical attack. That's awesome. Let's make, um, let's make a couple of the, well, hold on. Let's see what else we can make. A beast lure pot. Uh, it lures beasts. Throw to create a red shadow. The illusion lures in beasts into attacking it. This effect does not change, even during combat. Hmm. 
Yeah, I, that, that, I think it's one called DS Fix. I think that's like one of the big ones that fixes like a lot of stuff, even like maybe controller issues and stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> 59 minutes is enough to get into it. Die a lot and go, oh my God, this is really hard and frustrating. <laughs> It's like, the first hour is like the same for everyone. Um... Cannot craft it as you do not have any ritual pots. Right, okay. That's, that's okay then. Job done. Decision made. Let's make some exalted flesh. Ah, that's great. Thank you, sir, for your kind service. Safe journeys. So Fort Hate has been cleared. Let's head north. Hmm, let's pick up these. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Yeah, dude, I mean, look, this is why, though, I think, as well... It's like people in the like Dark Souls community love watching someone for the first time play it like ever. Cuz it's like everybody's gone through that, you, you know, like or wishes for that to happen again. To kind of be in the place where it's all like new and you're like, "Oh god." <laughs> I don't know. Like Dark Souls 1 now I've probably completed like it's it's not like heaps of times but it would it would probably still be around like around 10 times something like that. I don't know. 8 8 to 10 times and it feels now like like I'm more like Like, you, you just learn it in a deeper way, you know, I guess. Which then... I can't attack. My R1 is not working. Hello? I can't attack. R1 is stopping. Uh, hello? Uh. I, uh, all right. Controller issue. I can't attack. <laughs> That's weird. Why is that happening? Everything else is good. Maybe you should stream it. Dude, it's such a great, such a good, um, good game to stream. Well, I mean, it's hard because if it's like punishing, sometimes it can feel like, you know, tough, but yeah. As long as, as long as, like, any backseat is, you can just be like, Oi! Stop it. Because there are those people as well, but, you know. Oh, uh, why are you using that sword? Lol! This sword's much better! Lol! Oh, lol! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is... It works in the menu. But not in game. Did I unmap a button or something? 
Hello? That works. What the hell? Alright, I'm just gonna do a do a quit out. I'm gonna have to do a quit out. <laughs> Don't know why that's happening. Yeah, it's icky, ick, ickle buggy wug. <laughs> it takes some time to actually um, close out. There we go. Steam was unable to sync your files. Oh, it should be fine. <laughs> ickle buggy wug oh he's just an ickle buggy wug yeah if you do tills if you do if you're thinking of doing it um then uh yeah let me know let me know <laughs> Yay, we're back, baby. He remembers how to swing. Open for business. Oh, this merchant's left a sign and everything. Oh. I actually feel real sympathy. This is a guy, I'm just like, dude. I know how it feels. It'll be okay. Nice of you to stop by again, please. Buy something, won't you? <sighs> I can't. I can't deal with it. I'll buy an arrow. There you go. There you go. All right. Where is this? There's a merchant. Like. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go north. Hello there. 18. Hello, dude. How are you? Don't worry. I'll stare at a tree for a moment. Oh, the tree disappeared. Okay. There it is. How are you doing? I'm not really in a spoiler place, it's just kind of land at the minute, but still. You don't mind seeing- oh, okay, cool. Alright. Um, how's your day? I hope you're doing well. It's time to get an item. Ash of War Ground Slam. Uh, here. Ground Slam. Jump high into the air and crash down on the ground ahead. The resulting pratfall sends a powerful shockwave in all directions. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm doing all right, thank you, yeah. Um, I did manage to sleep a bit better last night, which was very helpful. Oh, another herd tree is here. I definitely got tired last night, for sure. 
Uh, actually, you know what? You know one thing that I think is really cool, right? So these bug, these beetles are essentially, they're like dung beetles, right? And the dung beetle pushes the dung along the floor, right? It, they push their little basket of treats along the floor. In real life, a dung beetle does it with their back legs, right? Its face is, it's like closest to the floor and its butt is in the air and its back legs are, um... Its back legs are doing all the work. And it actually seems that that's like what they've uh, what they've done here. So like going this way around, they can't see you. Whereas if I was to run this way, it does. It's just, I, it's just really cool. I don't know. I noticed it before. I was like, oh. Because it surprised me when I first learned that they, they push it backwards. Spiked cracked tear. A green spill crystal tear. So these are all things yet that are like mysterious to me. I don't know what these... Like it says about in a mixed physic. And yeah. This one results in stamina and this one increases the power of charged attacks for a certain duration. Yeah, nice attention to detail. It's like, see you! I'm out of here. But yet, yeah, this fella has no clue. Not a clue. Yeah, I think they are essentially the same, the same sort of thing. Um, these red ones, they help like replenish your health flasks. Um, and then there's like gold ones as well, which give you like items. Um, yeah. Now, the last time we came to one of these little minor oak trees, there was actually a little a, a boss, so I don't know. Oh, look over here. I believe this is a map. You finally managed to beat Manus. Oh, good. Ah, that is amazing. Massive struggle, hey. Such a good feeling when you finally get it done. I think Manus is one of the hardest in the game, I think. One of the two hardest. Oh, there's another one of those bears down there, actually. Eat one of those exalted flesh things. I'm sorry, bear. Blech. Oh, shit. Oh god. <laughs> no. Come on. Oh my word. The, the way the trees knock down is cool. I like that. Oh balls. Mash. Oh god. <laughs> Shit. He 
it's not messing about. No! Come on, fall over. There it is. There it is. Right, this is good. It's trying to hug us again. There we go. Sorry, bear. Ooh. You've also got Calamite off the ground. Okay. Wait. Off the ground. Off the sky. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so you spoke to Goff and he did this whole video clip thing. One of the coolest video clips. But you haven't beaten him. So have you, you've gone to the arena then... Have you gone to the arena since... That... Since seeing Goff? Prepare to edition... Prepare to die edition was only three and a half gig. Yeah, it's tiny, eh? You've managed to download that already? What, since we were talking like... <laughs> 30 minutes ago or 10 minutes ago, whatever it was. Oh, Beast Bones. Nice. You have decided to take a break before giving it a proper go. Yeah. Yeah, especially after Manus and stuff too. Um, so... Calamite is the other boss of my top two most difficult bosses in Dark Souls would... Uh, one would be Calamite and Manus. So... Yeah. Uh, we've got another cookbook. Just lying around. Well, it wasn't, but... Uh, number four, right? A fetid... Fetid? Fetid? Don't know how you pronounce that. Roped Fetid Pot. Okay, that's probably for throwing, like... Poison or something at them. Um, just a quick map spoiler in case. Just a quick map spoiler. I'll just take a quick look. I'll let you know when I'm off if you don't want to see. If you don't want to see. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. So now... Oh my goodness. Right. So that's all up there, sort of. Oh, so I'm coming back around. Oh, no, no, I'm up there now. Right. Okay, okay. I kind of get where I'm at now. Um. It is fetid. It's fetid, not fetid. It looks like there's another wood tree up there. And that area goes towards where I was before. Cool. Right. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to follow... Where could that church be? I think this might be it here. So I'll set a marker. Alright, I'm off the map now. I'm off the map. However, I did want to just make sure around here that I wasn't missing anything. Siofra River Well. Also, we've got this torch. It's a steel wire torch. Found this before. A lot on this game, it seems to be, is that they're focusing on trying to make you use these, like, weapon skills and stuff. And the weapon skill for this one... 
can actually breathe fire. It's so cool. It's absolutely brilliant. Right, let's see what's down here. The river well. It's a long way down. Yeah, so... Oh my goodness. What is that? <laughs> Yeah, I understand. <laughs> 18, thanks for stopping in, dude. It's good to see you. Thank you. And thanks for the lurk. Thank you very much. That is... Amazing. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, we've got another charge, haven't we, actually? I forgot about that. Okay. The golden seed. We had another golden seed. Oh, <laughs> far out. Uh, damn. Acquire materials. Melted mushroom. A mushroom that grows in the false night in and around the Eternal City. Material used for crafting items. It drips with a viscous fluid that behaves much like oil. Herba? Dukist Herba. Soaked in arcane dew, it gives off the faint glow of starlight. Oh my lord, this is so wild. It's like an entirely... This game. Oh boy, right, they're quite tanky. You're quite tanky, aren't you? Very slow. The tanky bastards. Having six heals, though, we're getting better.
Yeah. That was stupid. I thought I would actually <clears throat> probably hit others as well, but... Alas, we did not. Oh no! Serious. There we go. Boys, it's um, Certainly a, a harder area, for sure. But, oh my goodness me, this is crazy. This is like a whole place. Ghost Glove War, that's good. Oh boy. Oh boy. God. Scary dudes because of like the they're slow but so tanky. Smithing stone plus four. We need to upgrade our weapons. We need to do that. Soap. Ah, 
plant-based soap made from mushroom juice cleans off filth and other accumulations on the body while also slightly reducing poison buildup filth covering the exterior eventually seeps inside soiling one's very spirit Try to go for the backstab, but Clayman's harpoon. Uh... Harpoon with a tip made from a sharpened meteorite shard wielded by the Clayman who infest dynastic remains. The blade emits a faint light and deals magic damage. I see. More golden runes, very nice. <laughs> I can't. This place is incredible. I wonder, is this a... Uh... Preserving boluses. Alleviates scarlet rot buildup and cures rot. <clears throat> scarlet rot accumulates gradually, coming into effect once the threshold is reached. Scarlet Rot ailment greatly lowers HP in steady increments for a period. So that's kind of the equivalent of, like, toxic, I guess. Beast liver. Good. Yeah. Uh, what was that? There's a crab. Okay. Hi. <laughs> little Bobby probably can still do damage uh, I need to let's put that on for a bit and we got some regen more crab eggs that's great where we came from. Okay. I've still not really explored down the bottom there. Um, which I would like to, but if I can find a, a thing up here, then, you know, a sight of grace, then I'll... I'll sit there.
Hello. There's one. Okay, good. Good. This is crazy. This is... What? Hey, welcome back, Flux. So no worries. No problems. We're in a really cool area. Uh, I'm going to travel back to here and explore beneath before we carry on further. The Siofra River. Sio Siofra. Siofra. Um... And it is amazing. I could never have thought. It's an old merchant's place, look. Silver fireflies. someone inside there one of those crystal uh, one of those scarabs time we're on 6.30 okay cool Hi, everybody. Um, very easy to backstab these dudes. Uh, I'm heavy. Why? Oh. Uh, Such a powerful attack. It really is. Oh god. Whoa, they'd like kind of evolve like shrink into this mud. Clayman, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. They're called Clayman. And if they're made of clay, then uh yeah. <laughs> More smithing stones. We're gonna go back to the big old. Uh, maybe we'll go to Round Table Hold. Actually, maybe we could walk there, and from there do do some stuff. What is it? Actually, what's this like? What? Oh, it costs FP to do it, of course. Uh... 
try this out. So many different sceneries. It's amazing, dude. It's really amazing. Can this do critical? It can't do critical. Uh, what's that? Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, damn it. Good job. Good job. Oh, I nearly died. Shit. Right, okay. These dudes are ch chunky. No, thank you. What is that type of magic? It's like, it's like water, explosive water or something. It's so cool, it's like bubble. Like bubble fire magic. <laughs> oh, there's so many of these dudes. Oh, far out. That could kill me. Boy. Huh. Careful. I have no idea how it works, but it looks amazing. It looks so good. That was close. Okay. These tanky boys are pretty frightening. Are we good? There's still someone left, I think. There's still someone left. Immunizing cured meat, nice. Rainbow stones. Oh, no way. So that actually just runs around to here. Okay, that's cool. Where are you? I can hear you there. Everything has so much more health down here, you know, everything.
budding horn. Budding horn. I don't know where that was. Hey, okay, Flux. So thank you, dude. Take care. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Here it is. A rarely seen specimen of a young budding horn. Okay, this horn began to sprout on a beast that typically bears no horn. Perhaps it's a vestige of the primordial crucible. Oh, don't kill me. Hey, full damage does exist. Okay. Non-lethal fall damage does exist. Acquire materials. A golden centipede. The golden desiccated remains of a centipede, kept as a fetish by Golden Order fundamentalists, especially the hunters of those who live in death. Hmm. So we've got to we've got to go from above, haven't we? Right, guys, I'm going to just walk to the top place that we got to then. Because everywhere below has been explored. Um, but I'm just going to go and make a fresh drink, I think. So, two minutes, I'll be back. We'll carry on. Oh, God. Oh, wow. It's time for a stretch and stuff. Ah, yeah, lovely. Right. Amazing. See you in a bit. Lovely. Right.
Hello, I forgot to unmute. <laughs> Hello. I thought I pushed the button. Oh, damn it. <laughs> well, look. I was basically just talking nonsense. Totally debated. Happens to the best of us. Beautiful. Man, I'm glad I noticed. I would have gone ages without turning that on. Damn. It's only a few minutes. So these ghost little ghost people... Sort of like ghost horned monster things. There seems to be a few of them kind of hiding out. Oh wow, we hid in a bush and he didn't actually know where we went to. Okay, so there is some. some sort of stealth. They are not poised boys, though. Their fur does not do much against... ...my hefty blade. <laughs> Damn you! Make me go up there again. Mm hmm. Hey, Juju. Dude, it's amazing. It's so good. Oh, <laughs> talk about the TV show. I love it. Uh. Is it still going on now? I don't know. Surely not. Oh man, what happened there? Oh, my controller's run out. Controllers run out of battery there, didn't it? It's good timing. Yeah, feeling better now? Are we... Okay, now the vibrate is just constant. ASMR. Um, right, how do I stop this from happening?
Right, there we go. I've disconnected it from the PC. Now. Let's reconnect. What? Why? Oh, it starts when we connect it up. Uh, let me just... <sighs> Might be a bug. Possibly. It's going, man. This is full... Full vibrato. I'm gonna have to do this again. Sorry, 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 be happy. Right, let us play. Let's try this one more time. Uh, sorry, yeah, Juju, sorry. I, um, that kind of happened there. Yeah, like, today's been really good. I feel like I've sunk into it a lot more now today and kind of gone with just, oh, for fuck's sake. Why is this happening? As soon as the game started. Controller stuck on vibrate PC. Eldering was cheaper as a CD copy than on Steam. Honestly. I, I don't have a CD drive on my PC, you know, so it's kind of like... People like me are suckers for that, you know. Something in Steam. Right, okay, hold on. Something in Steam. We're gonna go... We're gonna go back. We're gonna go quit Steam. Um... If you go into the Steam controller settings... Right. Settings. Controller and click identify. Uh, hello? If Steam input is enabled, yeah, okay. Oh, finally! Finally! My hands! Right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was so weird. It solved it nice. Yeah, so apparently uh, the way to fix it was to go into Steam controller settings, click on your controller, and then click identify. And it, it just fixed it straight. Hopefully it will stay that way. I don't know what caused it. Ran out of battery. 
Then when I switched it back on, it was just like, let's go, baby. You know, it was in super, super pleasure mode 5000, just kind of no stopping this train. <laughs> but we stopped it. So crisis avoided. Too much ER hype, yeah, I know. Uh -huh. Right. Let's go again. Yeah, so what I was going to say, though, is I feel like I've sunk into it a lot more now, today. And just kind of gone with the flow of it and, and just explored elsewhere instead of trying to just go down one sort of quest route and it's it's been brilliant it's been so much fun We found this, like, found this whole place. I'm just like, I can't believe it. This whole other area. The crab was terrifying. Right. There was one dude over here somewhere, wasn't there? Here he is. No, I knew that would happen. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Shit. Oh. Yeah, it looks great. It looks fantastic. This is all underground. This is giant cavern. Right, we can get pony. Let's get horsey. Thank you. Run. Lock on. What was that? I did like a block. Whoa! Okay, there's a new... I've never noticed this before. I don't know if... I think it's new to Elden Ring, but I've not noticed it if it isn't. But there's a thing I just did, right? As soon as you block with the sword, you push attack, uh, R2. And it does like a... It does like a reactionary attack. It's really nice. That's really nice. Just get one. Look 
at the floor as well. It, it's really nice, isn't it? Okay. I'm thinking we try parry these guys. There we go. Oh, nice, Juju. Enjoy. I hope the walk is good. Fuck, there's another one. Or is it further up the hill? He's further up the hill. Parries feel brilliant. They're tough, but they feel great. No, let me attack. Oh, for f Don't die. Well, um... such a mess. Okay, that's better. Come on, Paris, come on. I, I feel like they've got to do it the moment they're like... It's not like when their arm's coming down towards you, but just as they're about to start that motion. I don't know, that's what it feels like. Maybe there's a bit of room for... for error, but yeah. Oh my god. There. No. The dude, so... It's a really good practice, you know. I do love a good old parry. Come on. Yes! All right. Right, there's this dude up ahead, isn't there, as well, so... We mustn't forget about him. Oh my god, dude. Oh 
no. No. Come on. There. These are tough people. Light flame, okay. Hey, piggies. Wow. Yeah, I wonder what... I wonder what we're doing here. I wonder why we're doing this. <laughs> oh, it looks so nice. What do we got here? They're like floating orbs. Somber smithing stone. What? Travel to another location. <laughs> Where the hell? It's this whole second world underneath. No. No. Ash of War, square off. Okay, cool. That's nice. We can teach that now to... But well, we can learn that. Look up there as well. Oh my shit. What is this place? What is this place? <laughs> Hi. Uh... Can you... You're like an archer, it seems. Maybe. Maybe. More golden runes. What's the time? 20 by 7. That's great. We've got nice, like, three hours or something still. Bastard. Alright. Um, okay. So. We've lit, in, we've lit in, we've lit two fires. There's a travel point over there. 
which I'm not going to use right now. I, I just can't get over it. This is absolutely crazy. I can't get over it. It's, it's just crazy. These people somehow remind me of like, um, Outer Wilds, the, uh, not the Nor, not the, that's, the Nora is Horizon. What's the, what's the people who live in the DLC? You're faster. You even have your own type of magic, dude. Fridges! <laughs> Get his, his uh, stuff. That's so cool. Hmm. Get this boy first. Get him. Oh, <laughs> flattered. Yes, come on. That is what I'm talking about. A jawbone axe. And a budding horn. A jawbone axe. Oh, we've still got this that we want to maybe use at some point. Jawbone axe. Axe made from a herbivore's skull. Weapon of the ancestral follows followers who disdain metal. Um, oh, sorry. One second. I've got to just do one thing. Thank you for your fine patience. Uh, this axe is more of a bludgeon. It foregoes a bladed edge, instead using the beast's molar teeth to buffet foes, dealing strike damage. Leaf. 
Inverted Hawk Heater Shield. It's a parry shield with better fire, lightning, and holy defense. The Inverted Hawk is the emblem of the company of slaves explored, ordered to explore the Eternal City. Company of slaves were ordered to explore the Eternal City. And this is their emblem. That's so cool. Um. Mm hmm. Another old fang. That's good. Oh, a map of the Tiofra River. A new map has been found. That's where we started. Now, we walked somewhere up here or something, somewhere way off. The weird thing to me is that this seems to go Oh my word. It's a big map, this is. This is a big map. Aha. Hello. The Hallow Horn Grounds. <laughs> oh god. Hi. What? It does bleed. I wonder if we need to, like, do something like, um... Light all the fires or something. Longbow made from animal horn wielded by the master hunters of the ancestral followers. Imbues arrows fired with magic damage. Imbues arrows fired with magic damage reveals its true worth when used with magic infused arrows. And it's got skill mighty shot. Ready the bow and then pull the bowstring to its limit to enhance the power of the shot, penetrating the enemy's guard. We can't wield it though, we need 12 intelligence, so... Yeah, there's all more reason for us to upgrade that, I suppose. 
I love it, the sort of secret things which are around. So cool. Let's go, baby. Let's go hunting secrets. <whistles> Bows. Equip a bow to fire arrows. You can equip up to two types of arrows to choose from at once. When wielding a bow with two hands, hold LB for precise aiming. Huh. Use R to adjust your aim. No way. RB is fire arrow type 1. RT is fire arrow type 2. LB is for precision aiming. Hold on. He's got one of them bows there. Oh god. Well played. Good. with the parries it's it's tough it's tough oh right okay so no oh, there's a crab leave that alone Oh shit, there's a thing. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> That's just amazing. Ah. Uh... be there's an item a stone sword key all right cool there's a person over there they're staring up that way <laughs> oh no horsey I must remember when leaving the telescope not to press circle. Right, so there's definitely no way that no way passed in that direction, right? So
What's this? Uh, right. Yep. Gold people, foul foot. Oh my word, the arrow. Sorry, it's not my fault. If you brought it upon yourself, it simply must be done. No, no, no. Where are they? Oh, here. Ow, you bastard. Here we go. There we go. Look, they're even hiding. They're, it's like they're waiting in ambush. There's another fire there to, to light as well. Lords, bless us. Light flame. That's three now. <whistles> right, there's a little alcove over here I wanted to explore. What's this? You're facing. <laughs> I okay. <laughs> Trina's lily. Cool. Come on, horse, up you get. Oh no. We got sandwiched. This area is tough. Let's go see that place again. What was that? A bell? I heard like a bell or something. Eh?
<laughs> Jeez. Oh my lord, this area. So tough. Ugh. I could I could go back. So one thing that I wanted to do, and I keep on not doing it, is going and improving our gear, you know? Um, it's a long way to go back at the minute. Um, it is a long way to go back. So I think... <laughs> this area is is tough. Oh, hello. It's pretty it's pretty um it's pretty rough. <laughs> ah, that's nice. A good old Saturday nap. <laughs> yeah, helps with headaches. Yeah, do you get that quite a lot, Luna? I know, I know you've you've mentioned headaches before. It sucks. I'm really sorry. For like years, my sister used to have like a lot of bad headaches. I think it's eased off a little bit now, but still. Sometimes more than others. Oh, great. Alright, we're poisoned. Might as well just fight it out then. I don't have any fire stuff, do I? doing more damage anyway, so that's one positive thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I can imagine that, that retail would, would not help. Well, no, I mean, I, I did a little bit myself a few years ago, but... Someone's playing... Hmm. 
here comes Tentacle Daddy. There is like a hole in the wall up there, look. Oh, go on, get in. I think we can just lock it in now in a cycle, so we should be fine. Oh, shit. That's weird, it's almost as if I had to kill it by a critical hit there. Okay, well, we got its ovary, so that's some good news. There must be a way round to the back of it. There must be. So let's try and find it. Oh, let me out, please. It's such a nightmare place. <laughs> it's hazards everywhere. Hi. Oh, hello. Yes, get in. You can always go home. <laughs> I could never go back. I have no home. My home was destroyed. In the great fire of 74. Alone I was. Aha! Come on now, violin boy. Vi violin? Viola? Violin, I think. Home is where the tarnished is. Got so many of these golden rooms now that we can use. There's another flame place there as well. Uh, let's just mark that. Um. Uh, that ba -da -da -da. Ooh -ooh. 
It's a merchant. Soup, soup, soap, nascent butterfly, an arcane butterfly with translucent wings. This butterfly appears as if it's just emerged from its cocoon for its entire life. Nomadic warrior's cookbook, dappled cured meat and dappled white cured meat. Oh, there's a lot of cookbooks. There's a lot. He's got stone, stone sword keys. Material required by the amber egg cradled by Renala, queen of the full moon, to birth people anew. Being born anew allows the reallocation of attributes, boosted by leveling up. So that's a re-level up stone. Um... I think I want to buy that. Next time. Um. That's good. Where do you get the leaves for his tent? <laughs> Do I have enough? No. Very nearly there. Hello again, good customer. Wicked. Goodbye. Next time. Thank you. Um. Wow. So item crafting, we can do a load of extra stuff now. So dappled white cured meat boosts immunity, robustness, and focus. So it's like even better stuff. Um, and the other one allowed us to craft what? Oil pots, wasn't it? And roped oil pots. Hefty beast bone. Right, thank you. So there was a thing too light over here. Um, a fire up here to. Very interesting, isn't it? They seem very friendly. Look how the animals are all just like gathered around. They clearly trust them. Oh, good lord, who are you? Oh no! And you get a backstab! Right. 
Let's light this one. That's four lit up now. Oh, I guess there's some trees here. There's some trees here. Oh, it, uh... Is this near where I walked to? I, th I, th I think it is, right? It is. This is near where I walked to. on the, the staircase actually one two three four flames we've got four more to get and that will probably activate that arena oh my oh my right let's just take that off there how do I remove it Oh, crikey. Yeah, I forgot about those guys. The, the worst... Uh, well, the best archers in the world, but the hor most horrible arrows! Ow! <laughs> oh, good lord. If you use a blue cipher ring, you will make yourself open to summons for rescue from other... Other worlds. How do we get to that, eh? How do we get to that? Is that like a way... Like a sneaky way down? You know, like if we went down here... Well, we're good and stuck down here now, you know. Oh my lord. Come on, Raisin. Good horsey. Yeah, nice. the intended way? I guess it is. Oh. Gives me the willies. Ten dwelling arrows. Nice. Uh, we could try and jump this direction. See what's there.
Right, do those archers appear if we're still over here without triggering them in the first place? It doesn't look like it, does it? Wow, look at these. It's amazing. These are so cool. I love this place. It's such a cool place. Right, we've got to be careful. We've got to be really careful. You're out of your vector. Yeah, this is this is like certainly a tough area. Another golden rune. Beast bones. These are great for them. Yeah, look here. We've got some more people lying in wait. Oh no! There's another archer! shot that who even shot that oh man feeling it
Right, are there any secret super archers around? Before I continue. So basically, we don't want to aggro these guys. It seems that way anyway. Turns out it doesn't matter, because this guy's going to see us anyway. He's not firing arrows, he's firing harpoons. There's seven people there? Yeah, he's seen us straight away. Didn't work. Nope. me as if I'm like some sort of leviathan. Look at the size of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh that is amazing. Come with me. I'll use it as like a... Oh it's gone. Oh, it takes all of my stamina, dude. That's it, come here. guy. Oh, hi. No, they don't know we're here. Ah. Uh, hello. Five of you. Jeez. Nope. Ah, sheep out my way. No. The sheep MVP. Ah, uh, no, don't you dare. Okay, listen. Desperate times. Desperate times. I want to come back here very shortly. But. We've got some things to do. Upgrades and stuff. Um... I want to go and upgrade my sword. 
as much as I can. I don't know how much I'll be able to, but we've got loads of those smithing stones. So I feel like we should be should be pretty able to do well with that. Damn, dude, this is wild. The moment of like this area being re revealed is it's just insane. It's so cool. <laughs> Oh, it's like crazy. 